Welcome to All But the Travel, the Craft Trade Show Alternatives Workshop Series. I'm Cindy Bison, and I've got my bag packed full of creative supplies so that we can bring these projects directly to you. No need to worry about finding the right conference room or being late for class, because we're offering these classes to you 24 hours a day at your convenience. Are you ready? Let's craft! Start with a piece of 12 by 5 inch cardstock. Place one 5 inch edge upward on the score buddy, find the 2 inch mark, and use the scoring tool to make a small mark. Then you're going to cut the cardstock diagonally. You're going to start at that 2 inch point that you marked and go all the way to the 5 inch outer edge on the opposite end so that you end up with a diagonally cut piece. Place the diagonal piece of cardstock onto the score buddy with the 12 inch side facing upwards. It's important to use the side edge of the scoring tool when you're scoring because if you use too much force on the tip it could cut through the paper or some cardstocks. Score evenly across every three inches. Fold, beginning with a mountain fold, which is an upward fold, then a valley or downward fold, then upward, then downward. For this card, we're using the Birthday Girl card set from the Robin's Nest. Clear Snap's Color Box Cat's Eye Cuties this is the passion set, has three classic pigment ink pads which coordinated and are stacked together to save space. We're using the purple pad to directly ink the edges of all of the pieces of patterned paper. Pigment inks traditionally have a longer drying time than dye-based inks, which can sometimes lead to smearing, if you don't allow the right amount of time for the drying to be fully complete. However, they also offer vibrant opaque color, are embossable, and blend beautifully. Scrap Perfect's Perfect Crafting Pouch makes using pigment inks easier than ever, as one of its many functions is that it dries pigment ink almost instantly. Using a small amount of the best glue ever, mount the inked patterned pieces of paper to the front and back panels of the card. Only a small amount of the glue is needed to achieve a strong hold. We're going to move on to our stamped accents. Unity Stamp's Feeling Groovy set adds a bit of fun and funkiness to your projects. For the verses hauling something groovy and have a groovy day, ink the stamps with the same purple color box ink. Stamp them onto scrap pieces of patterned paper and then pat with a perfect crafting pouch. Crop to size and then edge with the purple ink, again drying it with the perfect crafting pouch. Cut a piece of pink patterned paper as a mat for each verse. Attach your layers with the best glue ever. Mount your finished verses to the first and third panels of the front of your card using the best glue ever, as shown. And remember, only a small amount of glue is needed for a good strong hold. I've changed the template a little bit again by adding a gift card holder on the second panel. Cut a piece of patterned paper three by two and a half, ink the edges with the purple ink and pat with the pouch. Apply the best glue ever to the bottom and side edges only and then mount onto the bottom of the second panel so that the opening is upwards to hold your gift card. To make the funky gift for the top of our van, 
ink the top portion or the gift portion of the stamp with the purple color box ink. Then stamp onto a piece of scrap patterned paper. Pat with perfect crafting pouch to dry. Shadow cut your gift from the background paper. Shadow cutting means to leave a small edge around the outside of your image so that it pops a bit more from the paper. To add a little bit more sparkle, I added clear snap schmutz glitz to the ribbon and the bow. Glitz gives you a touch of sparkle and yet lets the color beneath still show through. Several layers can be added for more shimmer. It also comes in a variety of colors. I'm using frost for this application, which is almost an opalescent or holographic type glittery effect. Foiling with the best glue ever is simple. Apply it to your stamp either with your fingertip or a sponge or even directly from the bottle and then stamp onto your cardstock. Place your foil onto the stamped area. We're using Clear Snap's designer foil. Press gently, but firmly enough to transfer the foil. Lift, and there you have it. A great detail foiled image. I added a little shine to mine with some schmoots over the top of the foiled areas before I shadow cut my van for mounting. Mount your van and gift to the center of the last panel of the card. I love how these dewdrop embellishments make the perfect finishing touch. I've used them as headlights on the van. Working with small embellishments like this is easy with Scrap Perfect's Embelly Jelly, which you received a sample of along with your shipment. Simply touch the tip of the Embelly Jelly to the embellishment that you want to lift. It grabs hold and picks it up so that you can place it wherever you need it to be. And there's your shimmering, glimmering, sparkling VW Bug, ready to get groovy. We've got one more embellishment to add for this card, and it's one of my favorite techniques. Impress Art Metal Stamps has a wide variety of metal stamps, stamping blanks, and tools. We're using the Fun Star Stamp. All of the Impress Art stamps have the logo printed on one side and many have the image also. As long as you place the image and the logo facing you when stamping, you can be sure that you're getting the image in the right direction. This is especially important when you're working with an alphabet. To make the peace sign, we started out by stamping the image onto a stamping blank. You place the stamp onto the top of a solid surface. You need something non-breakable and good and firm like the stamping steel blocks that they offer. Hold the stamp tightly at the base. Hit the top of the metal stamp with a single firm hit and lift to reveal the image. Make your stamped image stand out by coloring it with Sharpie marker and then wiping away the excess. Some metal stamping blanks come with holes already in them. To add a hole, use a heavy duty craft punch or the tool offered by ImpressArt. Then you can use them as a keychain or attach them to a charm bracelet or for any other jewelry piece that you'd like. When it came time to mount them to the front of the card, I used the birthday candle clothespins from Robin's Nest to hold the stamped disc on the front of the card. That way it's easily removable and can be used for something else when they're through with the card.
I also wanted to share a boy version of the same card using the birthday boy kit from the Robin's Nest. The instructions are basically the same. I used silver ink from the same color box cat's eye cue set and I used two fun stamp sets from Lawn Fawn for these verses and images. The images on the card are all glittered. This is another easy technique to achieve with the best glue ever. Apply the glue to the stamp using your fingertip, a sponge, or directly from the bottle. Before you stamp it onto the cardstock, if you rub it with the perfect crafting pouch, it works as an anti-static device, eliminating all those extra bits of glitter or embossing powders that might stick to your cardstock. To me, it's all about the details when you're creating a handmade card, so I always stamp the envelopes with a coordinating image just to add a little more fun to the mail. I've got one more card that I just had to share with you. We're using the same template, but this time we're using it horizontally instead of vertically. I wanted to quickly share how I made this card with you. It uses the stamps from the Bon Voyage set from Lawn Fawn and the Raining Happy set from Unity Stamp. The clouds on the front panel were stamped using Aruba Color Box Crafters Ink. What makes this ink unique is that it works on paper, fabric, wood. It's truly a versatile ink. It is a pigment ink and it can have an extended drying time. But I used my perfect crafting pouch to dry this ink quickly on the paper too. This adorable umbrella image was done with the same foiling technique that we used on the first card. The umbrella was colored along with the background paper with a squash dye based ink pad. I added the verse and this adorable Impress Art Rubber Ducky 6mm charm. I hope you enjoyed all of today's cards and we look forward to sharing more projects with you soon. And now it's time for a crafty tip from the All But The Travel designer suitcase. Many of these products have so many functions it would take me days to share them all. But with each workshop video we wanted to share an extra tip or two about some of them. The best cleaner ever from Scrap Perfect is an amazing product. This earth friendly cleaner will clean almost anything. My acrylic stamping blocks get a lot of use and therefore they get very stained. Countless layers of hard to remove inks like stays on, bits of heated embossing powder, touches of adhesives, things like that make them look less than crystal clear. I sprayed a bit of the best cleaner ever onto the perfect cleaning cloth and rubbed my blocks. Voila, they looked like new again. The cleaner worked on the stays on, the adhesives, it removed it all. Next I tackled my steel stamping block and it worked great on that also. Visit ScrapPerfect.com for videos on many of the uses of this extremely versatile product.